Hey there, I'm glad you joined us here on this video uh, as we take next steps in our journey following Jesus. One of our values here at the church is that we start with Jesus in everything that we do. Uh, another value is that we don't maintain, we multiply. And right here, as we take a little bit of time every day, Monday to Friday, all year long, to read through the entire Bible, we are going to multiply in our minds uh, what God is doing. Through his word, uh, through his spirit, we're going to multiply that so we can then multiply more disciples. Uh, one of our values is next, because we are not done. Uh, we're not done following Jesus. We're not done learning what he has to say to us. And so I'm excited for this entire year as we learn through the Bible. We're going to follow this plan right here. This is January 3rd through March the 11th on this paper. We'll have more throughout the year. Hopefully, if you were uh, with us on Sunday uh, for worship, that you picked one of these up in our lobby at our Next Steps table. If you weren't, you can download it from our website at cccj.church in the Bible reading tab. It's also on our app. You should be able to find it pretty much anywhere uh, you connect with us. It should be available to you to follow along. Um, every day, Monday to Friday, this entire year, we're going to have a reading time. And most every, well, every day, we're going to have an Old Testament passage and we'll have a New Testament passage. And most days, we'll have a psalm to read as well. And through the entire year, you'll read the whole Bible by doing this. We're going to walk through it um, a little bit at a time. Uh, every day, we're going to post a little video along with things. And it's going to be just me or another one of our staff people just kind of sharing a little thought with us. I'm not going to read the whole passages to us. That would take far too long, and I want you to read it on your own. What I do want to do is lift out some themes and some things that God is saying to us out of the video so that we can uh, just experience that and feel that, know it, and then live with it in us. That's what I want for us. And so today, the first day, January the 3rd is when we're starting here, on Monday, January the 3rd, Genesis 1 through 2, Psalm 19, and Mark 1. We're going to, in these videos, follow the Old Testament path through these readings. So in Genesis 1 and 2, you have this creation moment. It's the account of God creating everything, and then it kind of retells it again as God makes Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And in this creation thing, the very first verse to me is is one of the most critical. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Why is that so very important? Because if God didn't create everything, then we lose everything. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. God created the heavens and the earth. He made the, the sun, the moon, the stars, the plants, the animals, the the the, the world, the oceans, the land, and then he made man and woman, Adam and Eve. And from Adam and Eve, we all descended. And because Adam and Eve were made in the image of God, then we're made in the image of God. And because God created everything, we gain our identity, we gain our purpose, we gain our, uh, our family, we gain everything from this moment when God began by making everything. If the world had been created through evolution, as many believe, if the world had been created through evolution, then we lose all this. If, if it's by evolution, then, then everything happened by chance. I lose my purpose, I lose my identity, I lose everything because it was all just by chance that somewhere, sometime, something, a long time ago, got lucky and so people began to emerge and to evolve into what we are now. I, there's no identity in that. That means that the, the, the work of making us is not finished. And, and God says that when he made us, we are his masterpiece. We're the pinnacle of that creation. If, if the world was created through some cosmic big bang where everything just exploded out of nothing, then we lose that identity as well, that purpose. And we just become a, a byproduct of a cataclysmic event. But if God did create, then that means that there is a king, there is a creator, there is a Lord who took time to look at nothing and to dream of us, of something. He took time to form us out of the dust of the earth. He took time to hold us in his hand and to breathe the breath of life into us. He took time to imprint his, his DNA, his thumbprint on our life. Not so that our bodies all look like him, but so that our 
souls, our hearts look like him. And because God created it, we now believe that God can love it enough, love us enough to send his son to redeem us. It's because God created everything that we gain identity, purpose, and family. I hope as you're going through this week, as you go through the day to day, you can just ponder that for a moment, that you would begin to view everything, not through a lens of happenstance, not through a lens of a, a byproduct of some cataclysmic event, not through a lens of, of luck or maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, I don't know what's going on, but you view everything knowing that the Creator made you with this moment, this day in mind. And He breathed breath into you so you could fulfill the role He made you for. The fact that God created the heavens and the earth and God created you changes everything. I hope you have a fantastic day following Jesus, growing in your faith, growing in your mission, stretching your spiritual wings, making disciples. I hope you go, enjoy the day, and I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow as we talk through what sin is in the video tomorrow. Until I see you again, you are sent.